Look how tiny that is. That is tiny. That's like 10 fries. What's going on guys? So I hear that Taco Bell just released, well, I shouldn't say here, I know they released because I saw it on the menu, a new buffalo chicken nacho fry and a buffalo chicken nacho fry burrito. And today, we're gonna go get one. See you at the drive through Hi, uh, yes, can I just get a buffalo chicken nacho fries burrito and your buffalo chicken nacho fries, please? Uh, ready, that's it for you? Yeah, that'll be it. Everything on the screen look correct? Yes. 653 to window, please go forward. Thank you. That was seriously like the longest wait ever. I mean, they made my Alfonso burrito in less time than that. Anytime when I remember. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, hey. Hi, the next day. Is that any sauce for you? A mile, please. All right, yeah, All right thank you. I don't care what anybody says, mild is the best tasting hot sauce at Taco Bell. There you go. Awesome, thank you. Awesome. You too, thanks. All right, now to find a little spot where we can sit and eat this in peace. like we're not sitting in the Taco Bell parking lot, that's for sure. KFC is empty. We're going into KFC to eat this bad boy. Because the drive through is insane right now. There's like six cars just backed up. All right. <clears throat> this should be a good spot. Very, very good spot. I think I'm in the lines. So starting off, I'll show you guys, the total was 653, where's the camera, 653, and so what I got was, is I got the buffalo chicken fry burrito and the buffalo chicken fries. That is what we're going to be reviewing today. And I got, today is Tuesday, and it was released last Thursday, nationally. So. We're not too far behind the schedule. Let's turn this a little bit. All right. First, we're gonna look at both of them. Both of them together. I don't think they gave me a fork. All right, we're gonna test. This looks really, look at this. It almost looks like the packet um, busted in there. There's, there's sauce everywhere. Okay, don't want to get my tray all dirty. It's not like I use this inside the house. That is pretty pathetic. Okay, look at this. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. That is tiny. That's like 10 fries. It's all about the taste though. Okay. The fries have a very good texture. Sour cream. There's something weird about, talk about sour cream, unlike regular sour cream. It's almost like they, they probably use like a powder and mix it together with like water or something almost. I don't really see any chicken though. No, there's a little bit of chicken. 
some pico de gallo got some cheddar well nacho cheese mm. okay i can taste the chicken there chicken actually has a pretty strong taste and it's really good actually i'm very disappointed in the size of this it was almost like they only gave me half a tray mm. The pico de gallo kind of gives it like a cooling effect. Not that it's really that spicy, but you can definitely taste the buffalo sauce. And with the sour cream, mm, so good. Very good. Look at me napkins this time. They did give me a fork. Look at that. Finished it. Finished it. Okay. Let's cleanse the palate for this burrito. Now, according to the names of it, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that all those ingredients that I just ate are inside this burrito. Since the fries are called Buffalo Chicken Nacho Fries, and the burrito is called the buffalo chicken nacho fry burrito all right so we're gonna open this up take a look at it inside okay yeah so far we have pico de gallo lettuce um nacho fries there's a little bit of chicken and the spices i don't know if you can see in there very well so it's exactly what i just ate except in a tortilla okay let's take a bite just to taste it first Hmm. It's stuck to the roof of my mouth. That's exactly what it is. I would recommend. I would recommend the fries over the burrito. Mainly because with the tortilla and the fries and all the ingredients, <coughs> it's definitely more filling. However, we're gonna give this on a scale. Now, my scale is a zero, meaning never try it, never eat it, wouldn't recommend it in a hundred years, shouldn't have bought it in the first place. That's a zero, right? A 10 being like the ultimate perfect food that you can't live without. It should be a commodity every single day of your life. That's what a 10 is. So we do a range of foods, whatever's popular, whatever in the mood for, okay? So zero to 10. So for both of those, the fries will start first. The fries themselves, I would say like a 5.5, five, 5. 5. they're good. I wouldn't go out to get those just by themselves. Um, the burrito, it's a relatively the same thing. It's just with the tortilla, a little more filling. They're both $2.99 a piece, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you get, they're both gonna be the same price. Now for the burrito, I would say like a 5.3, okay? But here's the thing. With the burrito, if you had to choose between one of the two, I'm gonna buy the burrito, and the reason why is for $3, $2.99 plus tax, it's gonna fill me up more than just the fries, which were half a tray. I'm getting all the ingredients which was in the tray inside a burrito, and they even added like lettuce and something else. So, five three for the burrito, five five for the fries. Good, not great. Wouldn't go out of my way to get them again. Anyways, that's a review, guys. Agent Retro out. Yep.